in this lesson, I'll discuss the hand symbols, the concert pair that you use in orchestra and in band. Now, symbols are maybe one of the most important instruments in, in your ensemble because they can wipe out the efforts by every other musician. So you have to be sensitive to balance and tone quality and how you fit into the musical role that you're going to perform in. First of all, I have the grip. I want to not impart any pressure, any muffling on the cymbal. I want these plates to ring as freely as possible. So uniforms with big sleeves that rest on the cymbal while you're playing or big puffy cymbal pads, those are going to destroy some of the beauty of the instrument you're playing. So I grip the cymbal between my first finger and the fleshy part of my thumb. So I just have a small footprint on the cymbal gripping that way. And I think about, first of all, having an athletic stance. My feet are as wide as my shoulders. My left foot is a little bit forward. It helps me have my weight centered. That also lets me move these, these plates without changing my balance point. Once I have them gripped, I put them in a preposition where they're going to strike. In this case, the center of my upper body is the area that I'm aiming for as far as where the plates are going to strike, no matter what dynamic level. Now, dynamics on cymbals are manipulated by the length of the stroke and by the angle that they strike each other. So my softest, softest crashes are going to be hardly any angle between them. You see, these are parallel. And I'm going to move maybe slowly, play softly. The stronger I get, the more I increase the angle that they're going to come into each other. So finally, my strongest clash crashes are going to come almost parallel to the floor, while my softest ones are perpendicular to the floor. And my angle keeps increasing. What doesn't change is this, my body part here, the upper chest, where the cymbals are struck. I can watch the conductor. I can see the cymbals. I can check my angle and my size of my stroke, but I've got everything right in front of me. I don't hold them off to the side. I don't close my eyes. Everything's open and right here. So my softest crashes start this way, and I initiate the loudest crashes this way. There's a concept of a flam that's involved in every stroke, where the plates are offset and they strike at different times. It's a little bit closer flam when I play softly, and as I play loudly, the flam increases. Okay, so let's talk now about actually the preparation and the stroke. So soft crashes, as I said before, are going to be offset, so I don't create an air pocket. You can see my left symbol is higher than my right symbol, and my stroke is slow when I play soft. My target point, which means where I want them to strike, is in the upper body, uh, about mid-chest level. And even, whatever dynamic level, that's what I use as my striking point. It's going to be that area in front of my body. Middle crash, softer uh, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, my angle of strike is going to be a little greater. I'm going to start a little farther apart, and I'm still going to have a relaxed grip. So the cymbals vibrate, and even a relaxed after, uh, after contact with the cymbals. You notice my left arm goes straight up, and my right hand drops down. So I'm in, I'm in contrary motion to make this crash. I'm a right-handed player, so the hand that's suspended up here, I feel has to be a little bit stronger. So I use my strong hand to make the downward motion because I'm starting it higher than my left. My left, I have my elbow against my side, and I'm able to support that symbol a little bit better. For the strongest crashes, my angle is bigger. I'm still moving up, and I'm still dropping down. But I start farther apart. 